hi everyone welcome back to lifestyle love so this video is a little bit different um, I wanted to share with you a project that I was invited to be a part of through the grace tales myself Tash Sefton from They All Hate Us and Emily Armstrong from The Paradise Catcher were invited to do um, a collaboration with Sleepmaker and Freedom Furniture where we created um, our dream um, perfect bedroom. For me, when I think about it, my bedroom is probably the most important room in the house. It's where I come home from a long hard day to um, unwind and restore my body, mind and spirit. It's not just a place where I sleep, it's a place where I read, um, I find new levels of inspiration um, and motivation, and also where I meditate and do my visualization work. So having the right, I guess, environment or energy of a bedroom is incredibly important. I wanna feel safe, I wanna feel secure, and I wanna make sure I get a really good quality night's sleep. This project was so much fun. I was like a pig in mud sitting up late at night, um, picking out bedside tables and lamps and linen and those gorgeous little decorative pieces like candles. And it was so nice to actually, you know, stop and realize, you know, and articulate for me, you know, what defines or are the key building blocks to create um, a fantastic um, environment and energy um, in your bedroom that help you really switch off and get a good quality night's sleep. And what was really interesting was the three of us each had very different styles and um, tastes when it came to looking at our, you know, the different bedroom environments that we've been, that we had created. Anyway, I'm going to share this video with you now so you can check out and see it for yourself. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think and I will see you next week on Lifestyle Love. And I'm also going to mention um, the other girls' Instagram accounts and websites because you should definitely check them out. They're both amazing girls. <laughs> okay, ciao for now. I'll see you next week. space I've created today is essentially I've taken a snapshot of my house and I've brought it in here. My approach to interiors is controlled chaos. I kind of love this whole nothing's ever simple or minimal. I, I love layering and if I choose one pot I actually need five pots um, and I think that I try and be more simple but it just doesn't work. So my approach to interiors is many and varied. Um, what I love about designing or styling a space is that it can be done in so many different ways. So personally I love um, a period space with lots of architectural detail, um, a white space and then layering it with colour and texture. Creating a bedroom space that is um, beautiful and relaxing and like a sanctuary is so important um, to me particularly being a mum. I think it's I can't wait to get into bed. I love having soft lighting so that I can walk past the bedroom and just dream about jumping in a bit later on. Um, but obviously a good bed and a soft mattress and, and comfort is key because um, when you're not getting a lot of sleep, the sleep does really matter. And increasingly I'm trying to make my space in the bedroom a tech-free zone. The bedroom space I've created is, I guess, a high-end, um, luxurious, glamorous feel with a warm and um, balanced energy. The building blocks for a great bedroom obviously start with a bed. The bed is central to the room and um, knowing um, what type of mattress is important to you, what makes you, you know, switch off and relax is essential. For me, I get excited when I see my bed and I can't wait to jump in it and fall asleep. 